Hi, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'd like to show you how you can take advantage of the microphone on these devices as well. Now, you can do it for the desktop, but also you can do it for mobile devices, and it, it can really add some uh, fun aspect to pretty much any game. So if you can take a look at this, what I have here in Flash is I have uh, this little project. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do a test movie really fast, just so you can see what the plan is for this, and you can see that uh, a little baby on the balloons just drops down. So the goal here is to create a game uh, and allow the user to blow onto the device, and that will elevate that baby on the balloons. So that's the game I'm going to create, and again, I'm going to tap into the microphone to, in order to do that. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and import some code snippets. So import code snippets XML. That's my code snippets panel. I'll select this mobile XML file. Select open. So it creates this folder right here, and there's plenty of uh, different mobile capabilities I can work with. But I'm going to go ahead and access the microphone. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click to add that code. And again, right up at the top, this is the code that basically moves the baby down right here by default. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping into the microphone. I say, you know what, if it is supported, so if they have a microphone and if it's enabled, quite frankly, it's going to go ahead and instantiate this new MyMic instance. And what I'm doing here, it's actually getting the data feed from the mic. That's what happens right here with sample data. And then it's going to fire off this sample data handler right down here. Uh, also right here, I can go ahead and set the silence level. And again, this might be something you might need to play with a little bit, but you can kind of determine how, how low or how, how much uh, activity needs to happen through the mic in order to affect uh, whatever objects you need to affect. OK, so I've just picked a range from 10 to 500. But if you think maybe they're going to be in a loud setting, whatever the case may be, you can up that to, say, 100. But again, I'm just setting the silence level, and that's uh, another property I'm manipulating. And right down here, this is really where I want to do all my work. Because right in here, this is where I want to deal with the sample data. OK, right down in here, for that sample data, I'm going to get the activity level. So how much, how much activity is going into the mic? Uh, how loud is it? Uh, and what's going on? Or regardless of what's going on, what I want to do, instead of tracing it out, is I want to go ahead and affect this baby movie clip. So I'll just copy that word baby. And I'm just going to replace this trace statement right here. And what I want to do is I want to move the baby up and down. So I'm going to affect its Y position. And I'm going to make, I'm basically going to subtract from the Y position whatever the activity level is. OK? So my mic. So the baby's Y position subtract from its uh, current position based on the activity level. So if I just move this off to the side, and I'll just pin my code right here. But again, it's going to subtract from the baby's position. So if there's more activity as the person sort of blows into the mic, then the baby's going to rise up faster. And the idea is to dodge these various elements that come onto the screen. Uh, but again, that's the idea. I'm going to use or get the activity level property uh, from the microphone. And I'm going to go ahead and publish that out onto a device. So I'm going to go into Publish Settings. I have Air for Android selected. And again, this was found on labs.adobe.com. Select Settings. I'm going to leave everything as is on this first screen. In fact, I want to go down to Permissions, because there's one more thing I need to take a look at since we're dealing with mobile devices, is I need to allow access to the microphone. And I need to let the user know that I need access as well. But right down here, Record Audio. I'm just going to select that. And notice how it says, allows an application to access the device microphone. So even though I'm not recording audio, although I could if I want to, all I'm going to do is just get uh, that audio data from the microphone. So again, with that permission selected, I'm going to have access to the microphone. It's going to actually display that permission to the user when they uh, install the app. And again, I'm going to go to Deployment. 
The last thing I'm going to do is install it on the connected Android device and launch it. So with my Android device connected by USB, I'll just go ahead and click Publish, and it publishes it out to my device. So here's my example on the phone, and as I blow onto this device, I can see the baby move up, and you can see it works quite well. It almost works too well because even as I talk, I can see that the baby is moving. But again, this was a quick example. If I want to adjust the activity level, what I can do also, if I just go back to Flash and I'll just hit OK, right down here for the activity level, keep in mind that this is uh, level uh, from 0 to 100, OK? So that's the level that it's getting, OK? And it's, it can move it as many as 100 pixels. So I can always, like, say, for instance, divide that by 3, for example. I can do whatever I want there. Uh, but obviously, you can see that it's uh, going to change the baby's Y position. So that was a simple example of accessing the microphone. And again, I'm just getting the activity level. There's so much more you can do. You can make a recording app. You can do many things with it. And I highly encourage you to check out Adobe Developer Connection for more information. So thanks for watching.